Hi everyone and welcome back to another video here on the channel. If you're new here, my name's Sean and today we're going to be talking about a super important issue that we're facing here in Scotland right now, which is dogs worrying livestock, dogs out of control on private land and we're going to cover the training and some of the precautions and some of the laws that you need to be aware of when you're accessing private land here in Scotland. Anyway, let's get into the video. Come on. Hit. So this might confuse some people accessing private land, especially people that are not from this country. But all over the UK as a whole, there's a network of public highways, bridle paths, and public right-of-ways which cut through private land and there's thousands of them and you're absolutely within your right to access these public paths and right of ways and then here in Scotland we take that one step further because we have what we call the right to roam which is any persons can access almost all private land. There are certain restrictions, but we'll not go into those in this video. But most farmland and wild land, which is owned privately, you can access for the purposes of leisure. And there are a big set of rules and uh, things and laws that govern this and how you're supposed to use your right of access. But we're not going to cover that in this video and let me know in the comments if you want me to make a full video on the right to roam. But basically, as a guide, there should be no trace that you were ever there when you've left. Instead, in this video, what I really want to focus on is dogs, awfully dogs, out of control dogs and dogs worrying livestock. So before we get into this guys, I should say right now, me and Echo are still within the uh, confines of the farm and my dogs are never on lead when we're on our own farm. And as you'll have seen in my holiday video I did a while back, if you can remember that far back, uh, when I'm on other people's private lands, I keep my dogs on a lead. Uh, I know that uh, landowners prefer if you keep the dogs on a lead, it gives them peace of mind. And it also means nothing can happen. And the best way of keeping you and your dog safe and on the right side of the law is to keep your dog on. Now, so, so that takes us into lead laws here in the UK. And there are no specific lead laws. You can walk your dog off lead on a high street, on a beach, on farmland. Here in Scotland, the law is actually a bit different. So your dog basically must be within your sight and under your control at all times. Echo that loo. And this is determined by three things. Number one, you have to be able to stop your dog from approaching or disturbing any uh, livestock, wildlife or any persons that you might encounter on your walk. So you can't let your dog go up approaching other dogs, approaching other people, approaching livestock or wildlife. Number two, you have to be able to recall your dog in a timely fashion whenever needed and this can be asked to be uh, demonstrated by the authorities all of this can lie down that'll do and finally in heel you have to be able to have your dog walk at heel when you're required to do so or asked uh, do so by the authorities and those three things you have to have 
trained 100%, be confident in and work 100% of the time. If you have any doubt in your mind, you really must keep your dog in a lead because it is better to prevent an accident from happening to reacting to it. And farmers do have the right to shoot dogs that are out of control on their land. Lie down. That'll look. Here. And heal. Echo and heal. Now we're going to talk about livestock worrying, which is the main issue of this video and a big issue we're facing here in Scotland. So livestock worrying is any untrained dog which is chasing, attacking or otherwise interfering with livestock and it is a crime and you can be charged up to £40,000 and be given uh, a jail sentence as well for allowing your dog to worry livestock. Now you can see these sheep know us and they're actually starting to come towards us, which is funny, but they see me and Echo in here every day. Um, but your dog doesn't necessarily have to be aggressive to be worrying livestock. It could be playing, it could be uh, just interested or inquisitive. But if your dog is running after, chasing or stressing out livestock in any way, doesn't matter if it's being aggressive or playful or whatever, the sheep are still in fear of a dog a dog is a predator to them uh, so any sort of chasing or any sort of disturbance by your dog can be categorized as livestock worrying and again most farmers would prefer and private landowners do have the right to ask you to keep your dog on a lead especially on agricultural ground but it's not just important there to when you're out in the woods and things like that it is important also that your dog isn't chasing uh, wildlife especially ground nesting birds we have a lot of ground nesting birds here in scotland some of them are endangered and unfortunately dogs find these nests and just tear them apart uh, so you really have to have control of your dog anytime that it's off lead and like i say the best thing to do is keep your dog on a lead. Also puts private landowners' minds at ease. If you're walking on there with a lead, they see your dog's on a lead. They're not going to blame you for anything. Okay, guys, so now I am going to show you basically how I train my dogs to uh, listen around livestock. It's very important. You can see Echo's watching these sheep. Echo's a young sheep dog. All he wants to do right now is go down there and get those sheep, but he's not moving. He's not moving because he knows he's not allowed to. So I'm going to show you something here. Now, if you do want to do this or you're out in the countryside a lot and you think it's necessary for you to train your dog to be around livestock, you're not looking to uh, get them to be friends or anything like that. Your dog shouldn't be going anywhere near them. You shouldn't either. You have no right to disturb livestock either while using your right to roam. So you're not looking to socialize your dogs with sheep at all. What you want is obedience when around livestock. Now, again, I've got a bit of a cheap move here because my dogs uh, grew up around, around livestock and this has always been the way for them. But if you do want to do this sort of training with your dog, please do it with a safety line, something like a long lead or a flexi lead. Don't just let your dog off and start training this because that's, that's just a disaster waiting to happen. Anyway, let's head over to these sheep and I'll show you what I would do. So guys, you'll see just over there, we've got my sheep. Lie down! That'll do it! That'll do He's coming back. Good boy! Good boy! And we're going to give him lots of praise for that. Good boy, Ick! Yeah, good boy! Good boy! Walk on!
Lie down. Totally. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Walk on. Lie down. Totally. Good boy. And heel. Good boy. Good boy. Walk on. Lie down. Totally. Good boy. Good boy. And heel. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, he's a good boy. Walk on. Lie down. Totally. And heel. And heel. Good boy, Dudley. Here, Dudley. Good boy. Walk on. Lie down. Dudley. And heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So you can see there what it is, it's just repetition, repetition, repetition. And you'll see that encompasses all three parts of the law. Stop the dog before it approaches something, recall it back, and put it in a heel. That's the three most important things that you need to know with your dog. And they're also the three things that will keep your dog safe from persecution or the law. It'll also keep your dog from getting into trouble because it's much easier to prevent your dog from doing something than reacting to a situation that's already out of control and it keeps all the other animals the farm life the wildlife the birds keeps everything else safe as long as you have these three things trained perfectly but like i say guys and i'm going to keep saying it it's much easier just to keep your dog on a lead. And it is also the only 100% way to make sure that your dog is safe and where it's supposed to be when accessing someone else's private land. Guys, if you're looking for some new outdoors wear, head to Ridgeline of New Zealand. It's a worldwide company and use my link in the description, guys. So head to my link and go check out some of the stuff. It's high quality outdoor gear.